was to book a slow boat tour into Laos for two days, uh, starting with the transfer here from Chiang Mai, and then uh, you get to Laos and then catch the slow boat from there. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to leave for the early time they had posted here. Uh, but they do, uh, they, and the later one isn't running this time of year. So, uh, what I'm going to have to do is take a little tuk tuk out to the bus station and make my own way to the Laos border. And from there, I can see if I can book the boat myself. Uh, so, here begins another adventure. Well, since I'm traveling to Laos tomorrow, I'm trying to get rid of the last of my Thai bot today. Uh, but I ran across an unexpected problem. I tried to catch one of the Song Tao's, which are the collective taxis. And I thought it was going to be about 40 baht, which is about what I allotted for, but uh, the guy quoted me about 100 baht. So I decided instead of doing that, I would just go ahead and uh, walk, uh, which was a great plan until I opened up my Google Maps about five minutes ago and it just stopped showing me the map. Showed me where I was, showed me my destination, but uh, didn't actually show me how to get there. So I started walking towards the dot, finally gave up and uh, asked a guy for directions. He, sa he uh, sent me in the right direction. Uh, I could spend the money if I wanted to, but I decided, you know, I'm going to be on the bus the next six hours. Why not just uh, go ahead and get some exercise beforehand? So that's what I'm doing now. I uh, came by this cute little uh, sign for Bud's Ice Cream in San Francisco. So that seemed like a good spot to stop and take a video. But I'm going to continue on down the street here. And uh, it looks like it's another 30 minutes or so to the bus station sign behind me that's a good sign uh, the guy that I met at the market told me that I would pass by the hospital on the way to the bus station so I know I'm on the right path hospital over there this little Bangkok uh, Chiang Mai it's the name of the town I'm in here and heading that way towards the bus station all right well I made it to the bus stop in about 30 minutes uh, that was a pretty good uh, swift walk but I'm really glad I did it because like I said I'm gonna sit on the bus for the next six hours uh, surprisingly, everything went easy. I checked in over there uh, with my online ticket and they just told me the gate, so I'm headed off to catch my bus uh, towards Laos. Okay, well here we are at one of our many rest stops. Uh, the bus doesn't have a bathroom on board, so they stop maybe every hour and a half. And uh, it's nice because there's a lot of food that you can get at the little stops here. You can have a little dinner, a little lunch, uh, but uh, anyway. <laughs> Just doing a little uh, video. So, anyway, uh, continuing on my way towards uh, Laos. So, the bus dropped me off about 7 30 on the edge of town. Uh, it's the strangest Asian town I've ever seen. The place is completely shut down. This is 7 30 at night. Usually, these places are bustling restaurants and activity, but not tonight. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, uh, I can get a bite to eat <laughs> at some point tonight and then I'll probably just go to sleep because it doesn't seem like there's much else to do here uh, and then I'll uh, get up in the morning and get my boat or bus over to Laos and then begin my boat trip. Well I managed to put together a quick meal of some mixed vegetables on rice and on my way back to the hotel, I looked down and saw some lights across the way and realized I could see Laos. So that's what we're looking at over there. Easy swim across the river, but uh, I think I'm gonna go through the border checkpoint and do that properly. Just got picked up by my Song town, which is gonna take me to the Lao border. And then I can cross, apparently catch a bus, and get somebody else on the other side waiting for me. Got my little pass. There's the back, and like I said, that's the look of a song town. It's kind of a pickup truck where you just stuff as many people as possible. All right, here I am at the Thai Lao border crossing. It's a challenging process to get here, actually. You have to take a bus a couple miles south of town, and then you check out of Thailand. You wait in line to check out of Thailand, and then the you have to catch a bus from the Thai border post to the Laos border post and that takes you across the Friendship Bridge, which is behind me, and over to uh, Laos where I'll go through immigration there. And then I have to catch another bus from there 
uh, back to the town, which was simply across the river from where I was staying. And if I was local, I could have taken the, uh, the local boat across, uh, but they don't allow foreigners to do that. They make us come all the way down here and do the Friendship Bridge. Uh, but I guess that's good for the economy. All right, well, here's the reason that I save my money on uh, food and lodging, so that I can splurge every once in a while. We've got all these boats here leaving from Laos. Uh, they, they hold about a hundred people each. And that just didn't sound like a fun way to spend two days on the river. So I decided to upgrade a bit and uh, book this uh, <clears throat> luxurious cruise ship at the last minute. Just to give you an idea of what I'm seeing on my trip. Through Laos, fishermen, beautiful mountains, surprisingly cold temperatures. Been, everybody on the boat has been bundled up all morning. And it's hard to tell, but we're about at 4.30 in the afternoon. It's been kind of overcast and cold all day. Alright, so I'm on the last day of the cruise. It's been delightful. Heading on down to Mekong with only 14 other people. And we're going to continue on down to the town of Luang Prabang, about 30 minutes from here. And that'll mark the end of my journey. But it's been a great trip through Laos. Uh, beautiful. I just definitely exceeded expectations on this river. So I'm glad I did it and glad I could share it with you. I would certainly recommend the upgrade in, in the future.